So in my YouTube discoveries, um, typically whatever interests me is what I'll search for. And there's something that lately I've been getting into ham radios. And when I was searching for ham radios, I came across a few related videos uh, related to interference when it came to ham radios. And one channel that I happened to come across was uh, Stephen McGee. Uh, he was doing a study on electromagnetic interference. And I actually found this very interesting. Um, he pointed out some things that uh, I didn't even know really occurred in my own home and uh, so I got really curious and I found this old AM radio and I've had this since I was about eight I've used it probably twice I think I got it for my birthday and it's just one of those things that goes into a box and you just forget about it because I think I had a better radio but anyways um, yeah so this is the only AM radio that I actually have and I'm gonna use this to find electromagnetic interference in my own place it's actually something pretty interesting so I made this video in response to Steven's channel and I might actually uh, post more videos I'm not sure yet so here the radio's on not really much going on right now but here is a common stereo this stereo is probably oh I say maybe 15 years old and it's really interesting because it's off right now it's plugged in but it's off check this out It's actually responding to the clock that I haven't set. Pretty interesting. Here's a common touch lamp. Basically, it's just a small desk lamp that you use and you touch. And as you can see, nothing. But, and that is just a light. That's all it is is a light. So even lamps put out electromagnetic interference. I can also demonstrate how much uh, EMI is actually coming out of my phone. <laughs> it's actually coming right out of my phone. Pretty interesting. This here is a common drill. Uh, I was using it earlier today and I just was curious about uh, how much EMI is actually coming out of this, or EMF. So, here's something that's pretty interesting. I'm just going to hold the trigger down a little bit. Now that is very, very loud. Uh, really loud and this is something that you actually hold in your hand while you're using it so you're almost directly exposing yourself to this uh, radiation it's kinda interesting here's a common microwave and even though the microwave is off the clock's not even set it actually puts out As you can see there, that's quite a bit. It doesn't extend out very far, but it's quite a bit uh, of interference just coming from that panel. You can see here it's not coming from anywhere but that panel. It's pretty interesting. Here's a common breaker or switch, and um, this one's actually. Uh, a pretty powerful one, but um, there's a little bit coming out of there. 
Common TV. Not too much, actually. I'm quite surprised. Not too much at all. Go ahead and turn the TV on and see what happens. Quite a bit more than what was there before. That's off. Okay, now here's my computer. Okay, now here's my computer setup. And uh, it's a little difficult to see right now without the light because it's not it's early morning, but uh, you can here as I get closer the field that is being put out by this monitor okay the monitor is off As you can see, even with the monitor off, it's still putting out quite a bit of EMF. Here's a common uh, cable modem. Here's a common battery backup. So as you can see, and here, there's quite a bit of electrical or electromagnetic uh, interference and really it's not something that anybody thinks about in fact I never thought about it until I just happened to stumble upon this uh, YouTube channel and I'm not here to promote it or become an advocate of um, the uh, radiation that's uh, being put out by all these electronic products but uh, I do find it really interesting and um, I hope Steven is able to continue his work. I think what he's doing is great. It's just not something that I'm really interested in, but I am interested in all the different stuff that uh, he is doing himself, and hopefully he'll put up some more examples. But, uh, yeah.